Good afternoon, amigos, from Piedra Herrada, Sanctuary of the Butterflies. El Santuario de Mariposa. Sí. Uh, Gigante. Gigante, no, no Mariposa. Uh, Monarca. Monarca, sí. Hoy, today, we're doing a video in English. <laughs> today, so basically, butterflies migrate down here to Mexico from the United States and Canada during winter time. And there's supposed to be thousands, if not millions, yeah, of these butterflies. Yeah, and they flock on a certain type of trees here in Central Mexico. So you guys voted for it. We are here. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Among a lot, like hundreds of our good friends. We're not the only ones here today. Vamonos! Okay. <laughs> so we're gonna ride the horses up to the, it's like how long up to the butterflies? Uh, one hour maybe? We'll see. Do you know how to ride a horse? Okay, amigos, we are on our horses. Hill, how you doing? Okay. <laughs> oh, it is extremely pretty through here. We'll try and, I don't know, my video might be a little shaky, but we'll give you some shots. It is, uh, the weather feels amazing. It's a cool breeze in the air. It is extremely pretty through here. It kind of reminds me, I told Hillers, it kind of reminds me of the Ozarks in Arkansas. I think some people have compared it to the Alps. I believe, I could just be making that, that part up, but it definitely, if you've been to the Ozarks in Arkansas, that's definitely what this area reminds me of. Uh, I've never ridden a horse in Arkansas though. Okay, we've made it off the horses. Now our our guide, our horse guide, horse whisperer, is, is taking us to the Mariposas. I'm a little embarrassed when we ran the horses, I didn't know he was just gonna be walking alongside the horse with them. So I feel kind of bad about that, but dude's is in shape, he can walk insanely fast. I gotta catch up. This is so cool. <laughs> I wish you guys could hear, all I hear is flapping wings. There are hundreds. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot, there's a ton and up and in the trees. Like, if you look in that tree, I'm not sure if you can see oh, it Oh yeah, there. there's a bunch in that tree. Anywhere you <laughs> see any little hint of orange. It's crazy. <clears throat> That was, uh, I don't know if you could tell just how many butterflies were there, but that was pretty special. And it's crazy to think, I know many of you watched like a show that was on CBS, Sunday morning, or maybe PBS, NBA, MLB, I don't know, of uh, a story about these butterflies. I'll have to see if I can link that below, but it's crazy that you think about birds migrating south, but not necessarily butterflies.
because of the lighting, it's really hard to tell, but there's a tree over here that is all it orange. Fun. It's just completely full of butterflies. Let's see if I can, this, this tree right here, I mean, there's thousands of butterflies on that. You guys <laughs> did not steer us. <laughs> I can see I, why I you picked like this. I want to like cry because it's so overwhelming. Just, I've never seen anything. It's incredible. Magical. There it feels are. Like, it feels like we're in a fairy tale. There's <laughs> hundreds of thousands, uh -huh. probably. And the trees are just orange. It's, it's mind blowing. It's amazing. I don't even know. I, I never thought you'd be able to hear butterflies. Butterfly wings. <laughs> but <laughs> it's beautiful. And Hillary said it just off camera a second ago, and she's talking to her mom on the phone. And I was thinking at the same time she said it. We said this before, but this might be the coolest thing I've ever seen. Definitely the most unique. Wow. Back here we have another tree full of butterflies. It kind of reminds me of like bees almost. With... It looks like fall, like the leaves are turning. Yeah. Like those leaves fly, baby. All that, the way this, this lighting looks weird, it's not lighting, it's just orange. But. Mariposas, mariposas what? Monarchas. Wow, it's incredible. It's pretty steep back here, but I think no matter your age, no matter your physical ability, you don't have to go as fast as we're going. This is for sure worth it. Uh, any any way you can get up here. This is another thing that's like, was never on my bucket list, but now that we've done it, I can cross it off my bucket list because it needs to be on your bucket list. Butterflies are all really low to the ground right here. It's crazy. Let's see if we can get. Hope you can see any. It's like I went to a fairy tale heaven. Okay, amigos, we are back on our horses, heading back down. That was amazing. It didn't take quite, it didn't take as long as I thought it would. And uh, it was a little different. And I thought we were gonna go to the top and it'd be like a big open clearing with them all. Whereas this, there's a few little spots where you could look through and see a whole bunch of them uh, in the trees. And there's several spots with them that were pretty close to us. It's like, uh, it's a wonder that anybody finds those because even if you're just hiking through this little spot, unless you get to just one little area, It'd be hard to see them. So it's a wonder that the, the butterflies make it down here. I'm curious to the success rate of the butterflies. <laughs> it just seems like how do the, what altitude do they fly at? How long does it take? I don't know, I'll have to find some links, links down below to answer my own questions that, uh, that I'll put. But truly, truly incredible. We'll give you some views. Try to give you some views if I don't pick up my breakfast. <laughs> On the way down. Okay, we made it off the horses. Vale la pena, Huera? That was awesome. <laughs> so the horses are 200 pesos up and down. 
well worth the 200 pesos because it's kind of like and it one it makes the walk up a lot easier and two it's like a beautiful trail ride and ours was sort of private just Greg and I yeah um, I would recommend getting here right at nine if you're coming because uh, I think the trail got super busy but on our definitely, way definitely on our way down like uh, we I don't know what time is it now it's 10 now yeah. and it's already a lot more busy um, and it's not this place is I know. I can't. I can't not say it. Are we gonna move here? <laughs> this is the coolest place I've ever seen. I did it again. What do we have, Wada? Oh, <laughs> we have a tole. Chocolate. You've never had a tole, amigos. Whoa. That needs to be in your bucket list along with the Sanctuario de Mariposas. Si, sí, todos. Huh. Adios. Wow. That was so fun. That was a lot of fun. That tole was good. The butterflies were amazing. Now they're down here where this morning yeah. they weren't down here when it was more shady. They definitely like being in the sun. It is just really cool though. Again, I would come either on a weekday or come early because, both. or both, because it is, it has become super, super busy. This whole parking lot back here is full, but there's a reason. It's, it's definitely not like a tourist trap. It is completely worth it. One of the coolest yes. things we've ever seen. Uh, I feel extremely lucky to be able to do these types of things. And so thank you guys for, for trusting us with I, I don't know, exploring Mexico and suggesting yes. things like this to us and this letting awesome. us uh, be your ambassador or be Mexico's ambassador, the United States ambassador. Whose ambassador are we? Mexico's. Mexico's, amba <laughs> Mexico's ambassador. But yeah, it's just the sheer, this is incredible. the sheer beauty of this place alone without the butterflies is incredible. It's incredible that this is in Mexico. Maybe they'll come for my shirt. Do what? Oh, uh, they're coming for the flowers on your yeah. shirt. Anything else you'd like to add, Weta? I think that's it. Thank you guys so much for helping us choose our February Adventure of the Month, be it a few days late or not. This yes. is incredible. Now we need to announce our March yes. Adventure of the Month. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure and subscribe to our channel. Click the bell, that way you get notified. Every time. We post a video and we'll see you guys. Mañana sin mariposas monarcas. Adios, amigos.